I'm Bubba. I'm the owner of Bubba's Bees. I started three years ago when I bought my first life off eBay. I, I'm the seventh generation on both sides of, bee, of beekeepers. My grandmother told me her stories about her third great grand, no, her grandfather who had a hundred hives. And I decided, well, I'm gonna pick it back up because we're not doing that. Yeah. So I worked with my grandfather on fireplace mantles. Yeah. And I saved the money he paid me for uh -huh. helping him. And I bought my first hive off eBay. Wow. When I did that, they came in the mail. I dumped literally 9,000 bees into the hive. Waited four days and then released the queen into the hive. And after that, Bubba's Bees was born. Yay. And then now I have a, up to 10 hives. I'm working, my goal is 100 hives. And at that point, I would like to be in A&M doing the Master Beekeepers course. And after that, I would like to do this for the rest of my life. Uh, I'm 14. I've been doing it for three years. Started when I was 11. 14 now. I... It's been an adventure, really. Had a few problems with killer bees. I took, I took care of that problem. I took, when I took care of that problem, after 30 days, I had a new hives completely, new, better temperament every, and everything. I got those four as actually as a Christmas present from my mom and dad. Wow. Yeah, after my second year of doing the bees. My name's Meredith, I'm Bubba's mom. And basically, James wanted to start beekeeping when he was in fourth grade. And he's like, mom, I wanna do bees. And I said, well, okay, I know nothing about bees, so you need to kind of tell me what's involved with this. So I said, I need a research paper. So we homeschool the kids, and so this was a perfect chance to just kind of merge the two together. And what he did was he read Beekeeping for Dummies, and he wrote me a paper on that. We actually had it published in this uh, forum that I'm part of for our homesteading group, which is kind of cool. And he's basically just told us what he wanted to do with it, and the paper sounded pretty interesting. I said, all right, so now that we know what's involved, you're going to have to put some skin in the game. So you're going to have to earn the money, and we'll help you out a little bit, but this is really, if you want to do it, you're going to have to do it and go from there. So that's what we did, and he earned the money. He worked with his grandfather making fireplace mantles did the sanding and the epoxy and the bondo and all that stuff and earned the money for it and he had a couple of Christmas gifts and stuff along the way and he bought his first hive off at eBay and uh, it was just kind of funny they came from Illinois and it came with the package and then with all of his equipment in it and then we got the bees like three months later and shirts and shorts were out there shoving these bees down into the hive which is kind of nerve-wracking because we're all like what's gonna happen we don't know if we're gonna you know, die and get swarmed to death we have no idea <laughs> So it was very exciting, but it went in piece of cake and it's kind of just taken off from there. Well, I have basically from each hives, I can produce 250 pounds of honey from each hive. And that's not including the wax and the honeycomb that I can put in the honey. And then the lip balms and the hand bombs I can, my mom can produce. Yeah. And then, well, I, it starts out slow. You have to wait a year or two before you can harvest honey. So that way, during the winter on your first year, they can survive. And then after that, you can harvest honey whenever you can, but make sure you save some for the bees. That way they don't die during the winter. He's a good so, kid. Any advice to any moms whose uh, little ones want to start a beehive? Yeah, do research. Do research and make sure it's really something they're committed to, um, because it is a, it is a lifelong adventure. They're they're living creatures, and you don't want to get them, and then you realize you don't want them, and then you know, and if you don't know you're allergic to them, or if you are allergic, don't use it. We've had a guy in our association that's just now selling all his stuff because his wife and his grandchildren are highly allergic to the bee stings. So if you know you're allergic, don't do it. If you want to do it, you know, try it out and see. It is a commitment, much more so than a dog or a cat. I have actually given several tours of my hives, teaching people, teaching kids younger than me how to keep bees because they would like to do that as well. It's not a school project, it's just a hobby for them. Um, I've also done Carver Elementary here in Georgetown. I have given bee educationals and how to get started in beekeeping. And they, they really took to that. They really love bees. Yes, I am selling this, and I keep some of it just for the family, so we can help fight, help, so it can help fight our allergies, and help prevent it. But we mainly sell it. I'm very proud of him. I'm very
very proud of him. And every year he's like, okay, mom, here's what I want to do. And we just keep adding to the business. So we take his beeswax, we clean the beeswax now. We use it for the lip balms, we use it for the hand balms. There's always new ideas. Well, I have a website, bubbasbees.com. Instead of an S at the end of bees, it's a Z. And then I, I'm Bubba's Bees on Facebook. And it's just like the website name with a Z at the end instead of an S. And there's no apostrophe in Bubba's. Um, uh, and my email is bubbasbees at hotmail.com if you'd like to email me, if you want honey, or if you just have questions I need to an if you would like me to answer them. And I, that, that's how you can get a hold of me. Well, I hope, never, I hope to do, keep this as my job. I hope to grow this and make this a family business to where I can sustain me and my family if need be. I hope to do this and maybe a normal job, but I'd rather do this than a normal job. I'm just really happy and proud of my son. I'm, I hope this is what he continues to do as he graduates from high school, which is in four years. So I just set him on that road. And that's just been my dream is to do bees for the rest of my life. And I'm following that. I'm not, going, I'm not straying away from that.